All right, welcome everybody. Let's uh, actually, bingo, we're open for business. All right, come on over here. We're gonna learn about fractional exponents, okay? We all know square root of 25 is five, square root of 64 is eight, et cetera, okay? Now, what if we have something like this? Nine to the one half. Well, you don't need to dial 911. You can get the calculator. Let me see if I can zoom in right. here. I recommend the TI-30X2S Urban Assault. Nine yeah. raised to the one fancy button two equals three. Ooh, that's interesting. I wonder what 64 raised to the one fancy button two is. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's come right, back. With that logic, what do you think 16 to the one half is? I'm guessing four. You can check it on your calculator and sure enough, okay? So, what does that mean? 16 to the one half is four. Isn't that the same thing as the square root of 16? Yep. What exponent goes here? We all know there's an invisible one. And what number goes here? They don't tell you this in middle school. There's really a two for square root. So isn't the square root of 16, 16 raised to the one half? Let's extrapolate that thought a little further. With that logic, what do you think the cube root of 64 is? Well, I don't know if you know this or not. Let's clear it. Check it out. To get a cube root, do you see that button right there? It's in blue. Okay, we want the cube root, so hit a three, second, and then let's pop in 64. Bingo, it's four. So the square, the, excuse me, the cube root is 64. Well, let's go back. There's really a one there. So it's the big number, the 64 raised to the one third. And guess what? If you put 64 to one third in, you get four. Okay, so that's basically it in a nutshell. However, what if things get a little scary and you get something like this. 64 to the 5 sixth. Well, you could put it in the calculator. You can do this at home. So 64 raised to the 5 fancy button 6. Oh yeah, baby, 32. So this equals 32. But does anybody have any questions? Oh, that's very interesting and intriguing, but what if you don't have a calculator? No calculator? No problem. Check this out. We got it. We can write 64 a different way. Okay, now think about it. We'll make a long story short. You're going to want to get a number raised to a number that is to the sixth power. You're going to see why in a second. Well, we all know from probability 2 to the fifth is 32, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So guess what two to the six is? 64. So if we take two to the six, we convert or rewrite 64 as two to the six, and we raise that to the five, six. Well, check it out. The six is canceled. We're left with two to the fifth, which equals 32. It's a Christmas miracle. All right, you don't believe it? Let's try another one. 27 to the two thirds. Again, remember, I want to rewrite 27 and I want to have it raised to the third power so the threes cancel. Well, what number times itself times itself gives you 27? You guessed it. Three to the third is 27. If you raise that bad boy to the two thirds, those cancel. We have three squared, which we all know is nine. If you don't believe it, check it on the calculator. All right. So prior to the lesson, this question would have blown your mind. Okay. But we don't have to dial 911. There's really a one there. There's really a two there that they never told you about. So this is written as three to the this over this. Three to the one half equals three to the x. Whenever you have the same base, all you need to do is set the exponents equal to each other. So bingo, there's our answer. You want to make sure, take three to the one half and see if it, put that in the calculator and then take the square root of three, you'll get the same number. Okay, let's do one more. What if we have the cubed root of 17? Okay, well again, there's a one there. 
17 to the one third equals 17 to the x. Same base, x equals one third. Are there any questions? Oh, Katie, you have another question? I like the enthusiasm, I like the intensity. What's your question? Okay, that seems pretty simple, but I just wanna play it safe. Are there any other ways that you can do it? Outstanding question. So let's take a look at both these examples. We'll do it a different way. Okay, you remember to get rid of a square root, you gotta square that, right? You remember squaring a square root gets rid of this square. Well, if you gotta, if you're gonna square root this, or take, excuse me, if you're gonna square this side, you gotta be equal about and square this side. So let's go ahead and do that. Squaring the square root gives us three. Well, what is three X raised to the two? You remember laws of exponents? When you raise to a power, you multiply the exponents. So we have three to the two X. You remember what magical mystery numbers here? That's right, one. We have the same base, so one equals two X. Divide both sides by two, bingo. Let's do this one. What, ooh, how do you get rid of a cubed root? That's right, you cube it. Well, if you cube the left side, you gotta cube the right side. Cubing a cubed root, boom, you get 17. 17, we gotta raise to the third, so it's 17 to the 3x. There's that magical mystery one there. One equals 3x. Divide both sides by three and hit the home run. Any more questions? No? Let's take a break.